I'm Jeff Lovett, and I'd like to talk to you today about the installation and operation of the Big Shot. It's a fiber transport system. Whenever you order a Big Shot, what you're going to be receiving is the basic unit itself, and along with the unit, we also ship you two curved pieces of This pipe is an 8-inch Schedule 40 pipe, and the reason why we ship it, it's hard to find somebody that can actually bend Schedule 40 pipe. We can't have a lot of couplers in it, so you really can't make your own bends and your own angles. Uh, we try to keep it with only one coupler in it. And as you can see, we actually split the curved 135 degree angle into two pieces. And the reason why we do this, it enables us to have a little bit of a compound angle, which works great at the dispensing end if you have to go around a hanger bracket or any type of support in your plant. Let's take a look at the actual unit itself. This is the big shot unit. And what you're going to need in your plant, once you receive the, the unit and also the bent pieces of pipe, are additional 8-inch Schedule 40 pipe to get your uh, fiber product from point A to point B. Uh, for instance, if you're going to go 50 feet, you'll need an additional uh, probably two joints, 40 feet of 8-inch Schedule 40 pipe. You're going to need a good air supply system and you'll need a minimum 90 pounds PSI and 25 CFM. These are the most important things that you'll have to do on your end. Now let's take a look at the unit itself. As you can see on this unit, it is half inch into the actual mechanism of the unit itself. Immediately, we pipe that right up to three quarter inch. And it's very, very important that we use a minimum of a three quarter inch size airline. I recommend one inch. Uh, it's just better for the CFM going through the unit itself. Uh, if you can't neck it down to a half inch, it won't work. So remember, it's very important that we have a three-quarter inch airline supply. And you'll note that there's two different uh, areas that we can put air into the unit. Standard operation, standard installations, you're only going to need one airline into it. If you get into a case where you want to shoot heavier bags, cover a longer distance, maybe a steeper angle, you can hook up another airline to it. What we don't recommend and will not work, if you have one three-quarter inch line feeding this unit and you try to Y off and split it into two separate lines, uh, that won't work. You have to go all the way back to your source, whether it be a compressor or back to a larger feed line that's actually feeding the unit to begin with. Uh, you can't Y off. Again, you lose CFM. And it's very important in driving this unit is the number of cubic feet per minute we're trying to put through it. Let's take a walk over here and I'll show you an installation that we have in our plant and what we've done to hook one up. As you can see, this is basically set up with couplers on each end that's willing to accept and will accept 8 inch Schedule 40 pipe. And we recommend whenever you're mounting this unit that you don't glue the Schedule 40 into the actual Big Shot unit itself. Glue all your other joints, keep everything nice and tight, but we don't recommend gluing it whenever you go to put it into the Big Shot, simply because if you want to move it at a later date and time, switch your piping configuration. If somebody smashes a piece of pipe, uh, it's easy to get out of it. Uh, if you're not gluing the joints, however, I would put hanger brackets very, very close uh, to the unit itself. As you can see here, we just uh, necked everything out to a three-quarter inch. We're into a three-quarter inch pipe. And uh, basically, that pipe comes right down to an aerated valve. And it's very important that you use aerated valves on the units whenever you go to use uh, either your, your pipe itself or any type of valves or fittings you want to use aerated. Uh, the induction end of this unit is about 10 feet long. It doesn't have to be that long. Uh, this induction or introduction piece of pipe for the, the fiber material could be as short as 3 feet and it would still work all right. We just happen to use 10 feet in this application. Let's take a look at this unit and we'll explain basically how it works. I'll bring over a box of fiber. Remember, this unit is not one of the types of dispensers that you actually load up and then turn the unit on. What you want to do first of all is turn on that air valve and then simply add the fiber to it. We'll go ahead and add about three or four bags just to give you a feel of how this thing works. Turn on the air valve. It'll simply 
slap those bags right up through the end. As you can see, uh, we're using 90 pounds PSI, and that's all you need to run this machine. We're running about 60 feet at about a 45 degree angle, and we find with one feed line of three quarter inch pipe, or three quarter inch rubber hose, at 90 pounds PSI, we have no problem shooting it whatsoever. As a matter of fact, what we can do is we can walk down to the discharge end and you'll be able to see the fibers coming out the other end. As you can see, it shoots it out at the end of the pipe with quite a velocity. And again, what we're doing here is we're shooting 60 feet with just one 3 quarter inch line, 90 pound PSI at 25 CFM. Very, very important to make sure that you use uh, correct air fittings, correct air line, make sure that you have it bracketed well so it's stationary in place so there's no danger of anything falling. And uh, if you have any questions during your installation, Give us a car on Hartsville Free, and I'm more than willing to help you out. Thanks a lot.